have a warning tonight about some crooks who are using the new Affordable Health Care Act to try to rip people off. News 8's Noelle Gardner is live in the New Haven Newsroom with more on how this scam is working. Noelle. Ann and Darren, seniors are becoming the target of crooks using the Affordable Care Act as bait. They're taking advantage of consumer confusion and uncertainty. The info thieves are claiming to be government officials or from a doctor's office. As the deadline approaches to sign up for the Affordable Care Act, the Better Business Bureau says there's a spike in identity theft. They say crooks are posing as physicians or government officials trying to get their hands on your personal information. And people calling supposedly from a physician's office asking for somebody's Social Security or Medicare number to update their files. According to the BBB, senior citizens are being told they will need new Medicare cards because of the ACA. They're falsely told they will lose their coverage unless they provide their social security number and financial information. The crooks specifically target neighborhoods specifically based on their socioeconomic makeup. So it's not very difficult to go on the internet, find out people's telephone numbers based on where they live. In some cases, the info thieves will use a shotgun approach, calling until they find a victim willing to talk. The BBB says the crooks are trying to scare senior citizens. One of the other tactics the scammers are using is they're calling up people and saying that they'll lose their insurance benefits if they don't hand over information or even give credit card information. The Milford Pediatric Group says they will never ask for private information from a patient over the phone. They would call, confirm insurances, confirm possibly an address, confirm their ID number for the insurance, but we would have no reason to call and ask for a social security number. Now, the Better Business Bureau says Medicare will never ask for your personal information over the phone. Now, if you do get one of these calls, never give out your bank account number, date of birth, credit card number, or social security number. Reporting live in the New Haven Newsroom, Noelle Gardner, now back to you. All right, Noelle, obviously it's big trouble if somebody does give out their social security number or private information, right? That's right, Darren. The information can easily be cross-referenced with other information on the Internet, and crooks can open up lines of credit in the victim's name. And detectives tell me they'll even commit crimes under someone else's name. Darren and Ann? All right, thanks so much.